Hey guys, so in my last video, uh, we talked about smooth motion and how to add it to unsupported apps that the NVIDIA app may not let you. Um, we did this using NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And then a few of you lovely people left me comments asking if we could do the same thing, but for Xbox Game Pass games. Now, if you're not already aware, uh, there's a well-known and documented in forums online issue with doing this where the EXE files that ship as part of Game Pass games are protected with UWP. This essentially stops any other application on the computer interacting with the file. So that's the problem we need to get around now in this video. And it'll be a short one because it's basically just a command and a couple of copying and pasting things. But we're going to use against the storm here on my screen because I've got it installed through Game Pass and I've got the profile up here. So let me show you what the actual problem is. If I double click and we go browse and I go this PC, C drive, Xbox games, this is the default install location for Xbox games, just in case you happen to be following along, unless you specify elsewhere during the installation step. We'll go to the against the storm folder content. Uh, against the storm.exe and we click open and you can see I'm getting an error message now You will get this for any game pass game that you try to add. Okay, you'll see this error message telling you um, To suck a lemon. It's basically you don't have permissions to open this file. All right Crap So how do we get around that? Well, we need to find the app ID We need to use the app ID and add that not the exe file not the executable and to find the app ID of any game or application on your computer, you just run PowerShell and then just type start hyphen, uh, nope, sorry. You wanna type get hyphen start apps and press enter. And you'll see a list of all the applications on your computer. Now, because we're using against the storm here as an example, it's just the second from the top against the storm. And there is the app ID next to it. Now at the end of this, you can see it has uh, exclamation mark game. We can get rid of that. You don't need that. It's not actually part of the app ID. So we're going to copy everything before the exclamation mark. So I'm just going to control C that. Now I'm going to dump it in a text document because my profile inspector does not like me using keyboard shortcuts for whatever reason. So I'm just going to right click it and copy it. And then back in profile inspector here, I'm going to double click and I'm going to paste it here. See, it didn't work then. That's very bizarre. Copy and paste, whatever. And I'm gonna click okay. And now you can see at the top, it's got the, the ID and I'm gonna click apply. So it's got app ID and it's got exe. Cool, and smooth motion set to on. So now if I go in here and we launch against the storm, it will work. So that's it, very simple. You're essentially just running um, get hyphen, start apps in PowerShell. You don't need to run it as an admin. Uh, it will spit out all the app IDs for you and then you just copy the app ID minus the exclamation mark and display name at the end. And I can see here that smooth motion is working because if I go into my options, you can see that I've got max FPS set to 60, okay? And you can see my memory is down clocked 200 megahertz and my FPS is 120. So I know that smooth motion is now working in this game and that's through Game Pass. And this will work for any any Game Pass game. And it doesn't have to be smooth motion. It's any any driver level setting. You know, if you want to do anti-aliasing, ambient occlusion, RTX HDR, um, DLSS preset overrides, whatever you want to do, it'll work using this method. So essentially for any Game Pass game, don't add EXE, instead add app ID and off you go, you're fine. If you game casually using Game Pass, you could probably stop watching here. Um, I wanna show you one more thing, but it's more for people that use Game Pass as their primary method of gaming because it might help you guys do something a bit quicker. So I've put together just a handy dandy little PowerShell command here. I'll put it in the comments or the description or something. Um, and all this does, if you wanna use this instead, does the exact same thing, but it spits it out into an app ID.txt file for you, okay? And this is good if you use Game Pass a lot because you can just control F and you can just type the word that you're looking for. Oops, if I could spell. Um, and you can find applications just by searching really quick.
Um, so that might help someone, but I'll put that, you know, if you want to use this, uh, this command here instead of just the, the simple get startups command. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.